Right, I hope that's nice and clear again. Uh, and we'll finish off. Now what I'm doing is... Sorry, that's Ray's just come in again. Cheers. Bringing me dinner. Right, what I'm going to do next is... Um, I've got this gold, which is a cosmic shimmer, and it's the golden fish. And I'm just going to add that. It's beautiful colour. Um... Nice gold shimmer. Do you know what? I actually want to change the colour. Um, I don't know whether to. I might do, actually. I'm going to add a bit of something else into it. It's because I don't... I just, I'm just like that sometimes. I am. Um, let me just see what I've got here. Right, I've got this, and I haven't got much left, so I'm going to have to be careful with it. I haven't got much left at all. And it's... It's the refill. <laughs> um... Uh, sorry, the Distress Ink Walnut Stain, so I really need to get another one of those. But I just wanted to change it slightly. And what you do is you... Oh, come on, it's because the water's running low. And I'm just going to take a sponge... And you'll find out where I put my sponges. Now, that's a thing, isn't it? On the back here. There we go. Just going to take a sponge and dab that all over. I just wanted to tone down that pinkiness and... I might just add a bit more. That will do. And just spray that again. Must go get some water. Um, cause me running out. I want that go in there. That's it. So just just turn that down slightly. Yeah, I like that. That'll do. And I'm just going to remove that from there. And I will clean that off in a minute. There we go. Now what I'm going to do with this, I am going to give it a coat of... Um, now, shall I? No. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We'll give it a bit of a sheen, I think. I was going to do Mod Podge, but you don't have to. Um, I'm just going to sprinkle some of this on. It's a clear embossing powder. Um, and while it's wet, you see, and damp, it'll stick to it. You don't need to have anything on it. I've told you before, I've covered flowers 
uh, wet the flowers with water and then just use the embossing powder and it works just the same so you don't actually need the other um, embossing ink so I'm just going to move that to one side It's just to give it a bit of a shimmery look. And I'm going to add some things in a minute. Might actually change the bird now. You can hear it sizzling and cracking, or hissing, should I say. It just gives it a certain texture using the water and a damp background don't worry about that going whitish there or anything like that This is what I love, play around, experiment and see what you can come up with. I've done this technique before though, let me see if I can melt that one a little bit more. Um, and I love just adding things, I'm going to add some more in a minute. Right, hopefully let the glue uh, the heat gun cool down now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this back in the tub because I want some more colors bit of copper in it I think so what I'm going to do is just reheat that and then just sprinkle a bit of copper over it Well, I like to play. Turn the heat gun on. Uh, 
beautiful. It is beautiful. You're going to see the texture in this one. Wow. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more on. A bit work quickly because it does cool. I just want to see a bit more of that copper. Okay, okay. So that's the coppery one I've done. That's fine. Um, I've got a little bit of this. It's called a Tropic Pearl Luster. And I want to do some of this as well. I'm just going to quickly sprinkle some of that on. Stunning, stunning colours. I know when I was selling the Cosmic Shimmers, many people bought them um, and I'm wondering how long they've been sat on your shelf unused. You need to get them out and play with them. just have a look at that it's stunning I don't know if you can see that look at it's just gorgeous and that's fine for me I don't really want to do any more with it whatsoever that's the color I've got that's gonna look fab in the background yeah I like that I like that a lot I'm going to have it that way. Yep. Fantastic. Okie dokie. So now what I've got to do is just attach everything that I want to attach. Get the, everything cleared away. I'm not sure whether to just... Well, he looks cute. Or she, whichever you are. Do you know, I might just... I might just do that. And glue that as is. Right, okay, dokie. What we're going to do now is attach this. Um, 
And I can't find my staple gun. I don't know where it is. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing with it. At all. Things just go astray in my house. Um, that banging is the dogs are playing in the hallway. Let me just see. Right, what we'll have to do then is just glue this on. Okay, dokie. So I'm just going to turn that that way and glue that on. So I've got that. You can't see anything else. It's all fitted perfectly. Um, and then all I'm going to do is, oops, a daisy. Is just glue this end as well. And then what I'll do is I'll uh, get the, I'll find where my staple gun is and staple it. But that will hold that for now. That's fine. I'm thrilled with it. I love everything about it. Love the texture, love the colour. And right now, I don't know whether I want to put him in there now. Do I? Hmm. I don't know. I do actually. I do like it. So he's going in regardless. You're going in, pal. There you go. Like that. And I'm just going to get some flowers because he does need flowers. To worry about mixing your flowers at all you know you can put in they don't have to be colored I mean you, I could have colored them if I was doing that type of canvas but I've just chosen to do this one um, so what I'm gonna do is I think glue my first flower there I need a bigger rose though that's I'm going to use one of these I don't care what the color is at all to sit inside um so I'm just going to move his tail and pop that in there like that yeah okay Pop this one in there as well, like jut that up against that one. Um, whatever that is, take it off. Oh, they put the glue on the wrong side of the flower, silly old. <laughs> We're just going to sit those like that. Slot one in the back there. Under there and slot that in like that. Now, um, I'm going to put a couple of leaves in because I want them in. I don't have to have them. You don't have to use leaves at all. But I do like them. So, and I've got a couple of these smaller ones to play around with these were from Etsy the velvet leaves and you buy them on Etsy and I just typed in velvet leaves and a few sites came up um, I'm just gonna put one in there hope y'all seeing this put one there Slot one in there. And I've got a little one. Can 
can just slot in there as well. Like that. And then I'm just going to add a couple more flowers to that. Because you can have any flower you want. And I do like to mix mine. See, and the glue gun's gone again. Slot another one in quickly. There we go. So I'm just going to add a flower there. I just like the continuation in and outside the... Um, here's another one. Slot one in there, and I want some small ones. But you do have some tiny. Let me just have a look at what pink ones I've got. Yep, and they're a bit darker as well. So I'm just gonna pop in a couple of extra ones. Like these. So we'll put one in there, one just there, and one just here. And then I've got these tiny ones which are slightly darker. Glue! <laughs> One right there. One tucked in there with that one. And I'm just going to add one to that. Let me take the heat gun to the glue. And I'll take it all the way. I'm just not quite happy. Um, Yes, I like that. So, <clears throat> I hope you do. And I hope that's helped. Experiment. Mix and match what you've got. Look at the beautiful, beautiful colouring in this. Greens and blues and pinks. Coppers and golds. Stunning. Thanks for watching. Take care. Try it. Bye-bye for now.